Hello, how are you? Welcome to Talent Plus Studios. It's your boy Sami Breezy. as usual, to call the one and the only Max the Last OG. <laughs> Max the Last OG. Manze, welcome, welcome again. This is your number one content creation channel, and uh, uh, we do keep you uh, guys updated with educative and, and entertaining stuff. So, if it's your first time, consider subscribing because we have amazing topics that are lined up for you guys. So, today I wanted us to discuss about something very crucial. I don't know, we should discuss in English, Swahili, ama to zichape mix. <laughs> Japa mix kama Kenya kama wa Kanairo. All right, we'll mix it and uh, in future we'll give subtitles for those guys who are watching us from far. Uh, but today I wanted us to discuss something about, you know, the guys who come and work abroad. We have our young brothers and sisters who are back home and they would like actually to travel and work abroad. But they waste a lot of time on the internet trying to search for the pros and cons, you know, the challenges of leaving their country and to come and work abroad. So today, together with the, uh, Max the last OG, I want want us to break it down for you guys in simplified way possible and in a way that nobody else has ever explained. Ama niaje Max? And your manake will keep it real. Do we know what, what we are speaking about because to experience it first time. Yes. Uh, because most of us have been in several countries and have gathered uh, enough information and we've had friends, we've seen the challenges and we've experienced it because it's to Kouku. So, um, bila kupoteza wakati, before you leave home, I don't know whether to start with pros and cons or mixed up, but uh, I will give it to Max to take us through that one. <laughs> Karibu bana Max. <laughs> uh, Karibu ni sana. So I say, make it a mission kukuja uku inze. Make it yani, your only goal that you focus on because one of the reality things that you shall experience uku inje ni, ni you, you get better with your life, you get better with your experiences and one of these better things that you get is that you get to to be vast. What you are, we say people can be experienced but being vast it's another level. And that one you get because you get to meet with people from different backgrounds, people who have met different people, people who think differently. And th th that gives you a very different experience as compared to Kenya. Yeah. And putting in mind that you're coming to meet another new environment, work with different machines, meet different people with different thinking, that, that makes your life easier and makes your mind to be very broad. And that's one of the one of the advantages that you get when you come to to work abroad. Uh, so for the next one, I would like to give my friend here to continue. Uh, well, well, well. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you know the reason why you're traveling from your place to here it's because in your place you've missed certain opportunities and uh, or if you've had they're not satisfying your need so you are going outside because you want to go and add up on what you have and because outside it's better than um, than what you have again you have to know that uh, you're not going to stay there maybe you're going there for a certain period of time so uh, you should be prepared uh, for the amount of period that you're going to spend. Most of the contracts are around two years, right? Yeah, so most of the contracts are minimum of two years. So you have to be prepared that you're leaving most of the things that you are, you're used to do in your home, uh, the things that you're used to do with your friends, and you are leaving your family. Maybe you are leaving your temporary projects for a period of two years so that's what you have to be prepared when you are leaving home uh, you're going to spend uh, a lot of time away from home and you're going to leave your things spending so adding on what my friend samia said is that one of the things that should be prepared on on the negative side is homesick homesick it's so homesick is so serious and it's so crazy it can just run you into depression just like this yeah 
and the people that you leave behind they should put this in mind that you need them so much emotionally you need that emotional emotional support of which you can get from your family members back at home yeah that's someone just giving you a random call for no reason just to say hi and check on you it's one thing that will keep you going abroad it's 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 one of the hardest thing kukuja huku unahitaji that emotional support from your mother your sisters your girlfriend your boyfriend especially the the people who are close to you that you you are so interact with emotionally Th- those are the kind of people that you look forward to seeing their calls and their text messages and that's what it takes so watu wenye wako nyumbani kama msi wenu anakuja huku nje the best gift you can give that person that your loved one that your brother your sister your mother whichever relationship that you have with the very person ni kum support to make sure that it doesn't go a day or two without giving them a call a text message and checking them how they are doing and that's the only thing they need from you nothing else it costs you nothing maybe some few coins kumpigia simu kum text and whatsapp is almost free so that's one of one of the things ninge ajo senyo na baki mtani mkiona msi wenu anatoka nje ni ku give him or her just a call you know it will cost you nothing and you this guy is outside there changing his life and your life too because once he's successful mta get his effects zake definitely immediately so that's one of the things that you should come out here knowing that you're coming to face one of the hardest thing which is homesick it's real and wasi wengi wana running into depression wengine hata wana wana opt kurudi mtaani tumeona watu wengi wakirudi mtaani tumeona wasi wengi wakirun into depression and for us we are lucky that you are We were not all that fortunate that we used to get all those calls and text messages but I think we were just fortunate not doing it's like living each and every day is not like you are you are lucky but God chooses to have mercy on you so I think we we had that mercy and to come out through which it, it wasn't easy it wasn't easy it was ilikuwa ngumu ilikuwa ngumu si mchezo so hiyo call ya kupigia mse Usi pigia tali yako, pigia demu yako, pigia sister yako, brother yako, mjulia yako aje mtext for no reason any random calls and texts. Hiyo ita mtext through a lot of shit. Ju anakuanga kitaji only that one thing. To keep on pushing na to keep on going stronger na ku adapt to these new countries and the new people and the new faces that is meeting. Yeah. Well, um another thing apart from that, um is that you're going to find cultural difference like uh, you know the way you eat the food that you eat maybe is not going to be the same food that you're going to find here so you'll get that some people will uh, stay long period of time uh, without you know getting adapted to the meal plan or to the kind of food that we have outside here so it's uh, quite different from what you're used to eating at home So this is another thing that you'll have to adjust. So whatever you'll find there, whether you like it or not, that's what you'll have to have for the rest of your contract. So you should be ready to, you know, change your meal how you eat uh, and um junk food. Yes, or amuzoe junk food because there's no other way. Uh, some people tend to carry food, but you know it's not enough. Wezo kabeba stock mzima nyumbani kwa kuja naye huko so yes you have to be prepared uh, for that also um something else i would like to add on is that um about the cultural difference you know uh, from our countryside we have mostly christians than muslim you know and uh, if you come here you are coming to an islamic state and you know uh, for us kidogo tumejiachilia like you, uh, you you'll find that the way we dress and the way people dress here is quite uh, different especially you know for men and ladies uh, for men it's a little bit wameachilia uh, kidogo yeah but for ladies you know you they, they are so preservative and the way they walk around is not the same way our ladies you know walk back home so you'll get that you'll not come with their kind of dressing when you come to such such environment especially if you are coming to gulf uh, countries most of them are still preservative so cultural difference you'll not be wearing the same dress uh, i see the ladies who come here they are given special dress uh, for them to to dress in the dress code uh, 
they are still yeah they are still uh, they are still opening up but that's something that you should be you should be you should be ready for yeah, yeah. those are quite uh, those are some of the difference um i don't know we we have more yeah like uh, sometimes you not find all the bosses are not the same uh we have the bosses who will understand you uh, or uh, who are understanding we have this kind of bosses who when they see you they know the only business that you've come to do here is to work for them and they want to see results and they only want to see you working uh, basically i think what my friend is trying to say is that bosses they just want you to put your all and do whatever you expected to do be as professional as you can be yeah be as professional as you can be they don't expect to follow you around and to keep on asking you why haven't you done this and done that wataka tu yani ukujitolea yani unajua ukichukua si ni mbaya eh si mbaya anataka tu one tu kufanya ka kufanya kazi ya of which they most of them they like 80% they know wakiku employ ukikuja huku wanajuanga wa employ professional yeah so when you're coming here they just need you to prove that they just need to see that each and every day and since you are coming here to work usileti yo mchezo yo fala ya mtaani kuje huku chapa job hiyo ndio imekuleta huku come prove yourself you can be that person who fight for a supervisor manager directors and all kind of thing you know what to do when to do it and how long to do it yeah and as you're coming huku nje pia know your rights and stand by your rights and kitu moja napenda about kenya and suku hivi outside countries they 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 see us like those africans who cannot be pushed around wanajonga kenyans with that kind of thing and and i do love that personally you only fanya ni ni kuwe proud to be a kenyan so when you come here don't be pushed around and don't be rude at the same time and that means that you should know your rights and make sure each and everyone follows your right and you too you follow their right So it's a mutual understanding it's a mutual act each and every day. Ukuja fanya hivyo, yeah. And uki ukifanya hivyo it will make your job easier, it will make you enjoy on this side and that's the perfect thing that you want to do.